video topic request or if you just want to let me know you rock with me send a donation to the cash app or one of these other places you feel me much appreciated and follow me on social media too. peace y'all all right so of all the stories i got where i talk about police brutality and and you know police abusing their power against against you know what i'm saying people like me where i come from i got this one time where i actually was guilty i actually did deserve to get arrested and go to jail but the cops let me off man they let me off either they either let me off because a call that came in for something more serious or they just didn't want to do no paperwork and i'm gonna talk about that story right now but before i talk about this story I want to say welcome to my returning subscribers. And if you're a new subscriber, go ahead and hit that bell, man. I got stories on stories, man. I'm the best storyteller on YouTube, man. Check it out, man. But without further ado, here we go. All right, so look. I'm going to say this is... This is 2007. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say this is 2007. I came home from Juvenile Detention Center, Horizon... Which I got stories coming up for that. If you want to hear some stories about Horizon Juvenile Detention Center and Spofford, let me know in the comment section. But um, I just came home from Juvie. I did about six, seven months in Juvie. I was home five years probation. I was still in the streets robbing people, doing stuff I wasn't supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? So on this particular night, it was me. I think it was... I think it was me, Melly, Melly Mel, by the way, who I'm talking about, and um, and um, I think Rich was with us, and Deb, Deb and Ed Smooth Killer might have been with us too, but um, we were just walking around our block, 161st, looking to rob people, and I remember we was across the street towards Monteferry, because there's a Monteferry across the street from where I live, right, and we tried to run down on three dudes. Now, in the midst of us running down on these three dudes, right, we, we, we hit them with our line, our whole little spiel. We get close, and then we'll get real close and be like, yo, what's in your fucking pockets, nigga? Don't get shot, right? We'd either have a gun on us or we would front like we had a gun, right? And dudes would, on most occasions, just go right in their pockets, empty them out. They don't got nothing. We let them go, you know, or maybe we'll snuff them. Punch him up real fast. But either way, niggas get let go. On this particular night, all three of these dudes tried to fight us. So here we are. About six, 15, 16 year olds, right? Fighting. In the middle of the street, it's nighttime, it's bright outside, bunch of cars going, going across. Right? Rich start fighting with a dude, right? Melly start fighting with a dude. So I'm the third dude to get close to the fight. I immediately get close. Dude immediately ping pals my shit two, three times. Quick combo. Bing, bing, bing. Being that I'm 30 years old now, I can say it. Dude could fight. He hit me three times, stunned me real quick. We throw in our hands, right? We throw in our hands, throw in our hands, throw in our hands. Rich gets the Rich gets the best of the of the one dude he fighting, right? Boom. Boom. Um, and I don't know what's going on with the dude Melly fighting, but he just moving around the whole lot, right? So me and Melly, we start beating on the one dude I had while the other dude trying to run around the spot, jump in and out the fight or whatever. But he was also screaming loud. Now in the middle of that melee, in the middle of that melee, the police come. So look, the police come, Melly runs, Rich runs, right? So now... Basically, two of the dudes was holding me. Two of the dudes was holding me when the police come. They like, they like, so what's going on here? They like, yo, him and his friends try to rob us. Um, the other two ran this way. We held on to this one. They held on to my goofy ass. I'm like, damn, I'm about to go to jail. I'm like, yo, I just, I literally just came home. I was probably home for a couple months. Literally trying to rob people, right? So what they do is they throw me in the handcuffs. Throw me in the handcuffs, sit me in the back of the car, right? And I don't know if they called for the paddy wagon to come for me. 
Um, I don't know what exactly went on, but they just had me sitting in the car, cuffed up and shit. They like, so tell me where you from? I'm like, I'm from down the block. They like, you on probation? I'm like, yeah. They like, oh, you on probation? You all trying to rob people? I'm like, yo, I wasn't trying to rob nobody, man. I wasn't trying to rob nobody, man. You was talking about my mom and all that. They like, how you talking about your mom and you don't even know them? You fucking lying. You fucking lying. What's your what's your probation officer name? I call her right now, right? And this probation officer I had at that time, you know what I'm saying? Like she was not playing, right? She was like a West Indian woman. Uh oh, I elder West Indian woman. Y'all know these West Indian women. They do not play with us, right? So I'm basically accepting the fact that I'm about to go to jail. I'm like, yo, damn. I'm about to go to Goshen's or something now, man. I done been home three, four months, and I'm already about to go back to jail for another robbery. I'm done. I'm toast. So I'm just sitting. I got my arms behind my back, and I got my head. Like, any of y'all who've been arrested before, you know that at some point you might, like, put your head, like, like on the seat, on the seat in front of you, and you got your hands cuffed up. So it's like I'm, like, kneeling a little bit. I got my head on the seat in front of me. Arms cuffed up, and in my head, I'm like, not yet. They upstairs. They upstairs. I'll send them out later, okay, mama? All right. I'm just saying to myself, I'm like, yo, damn, I'm really about to go to jail, bro. I'm like, I'm really about to go to jail. Like, I really just fucked it up, and I'm tight. They had me sitting there for maybe like 20, 30 minutes. They asking me all my information and stuff like that. I'm like, yo, damn, I'm fucked, bro. I'm like, damn. And I'm literally down the block from my house. I'm like, yo, what the hell I'm going to tell my mother? I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo, she done. She paid bail for me to get out and then went to court with me and made sure the judge knew I had a support system at home and then I come home and rob people. But I'm saying to myself, I'm like, I, I honestly, I'm going to be honest. I started praying. I started praying. I remember praying. I'm saying to myself, I'm like, God, I'm like, God, please, God, please let me go home today. You let me go home. I never robbed nobody again. Just let me go home, please, 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 please. And, and, and for whatever reason, a couple minutes later, the two cops opened the door. They said, Hey, listen, Hey, listen, we don't really feel like doing the paperwork. We got something more important to do. So I'm going to let you go. But if I ever see you around here trying to rob anybody ever again, I'm personally going to lock you up and make sure you do as much time as possible. You got me, little nigga? And call me little nigga for real. And they let me go. Now, it just so happened, lucky me maybe, that both these cops was black today, was black that day, you know? You know, so I had I had the, the the luck of the melanin with me that day, I guess, you know, because I think if even one of them was white, they would have had to take me in. But I think because both of them was black and 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 I still looked small at the time and I looked real sorry and I was slightly tearing. They said, all right, we're going to let this little nigga go. They said, if I catch you again, though, you going down. You feel me? And they let me go. And like I said, I prayed that day. So it's like, I don't believe, I don't believe in, you know what I'm saying, standard Christianity. You feel me? I don't, I don't, I don't subscribe to a particular denomination, a particular religion. But do I believe in a creative force? Do I believe in fate? Yes. Do I believe for whatever reason the universe worked in my favor that day? Yes. And you could call that God, Allah. Whatever you want to call it, you know. I also continued to, to rob people and do crimes after that. And I ended up suffering the consequences of that. I ended up going to Rikers Island and prison, you know. So karma is a real thing at least, you feel me. But I ended up going home that day. And for that one situation, I do not remember these cops' names. Because I don't be remembering no cops' names, right. But shout out to those police, wherever they at. I'm sending positive vibrations day way, man. At least for that day, even though I didn't learn my lesson, I appreciate what they did for me, man. 
But that was my story, man, about how I actually was guilty. I actually did commit a crime, and the police let me off, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.